All right, I'm sending out the tweet, letting everybody know that uh, Darth Bader is joining us live on the set right now. We appreciate Ian Kinsler joining us. Travis Bader put together a run at Oakland University, which is truly amazing. Here's a guy who came out of Okemos High School, was known to be a shooter, but didn't get the big name offer from the big name school. He made the most out of what he got. He worked with Greg Campy, and nobody has made more three-pointers than you have. Congratulations, first of all, on an amazing career. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here. And your thoughts on what you were able to accomplish over the course of your four-year career? You know, I just made the most of it. Um, my dream ever since I was a young kid was to play Division One basketball. Um, you know, I wanted to play in the NBA, still do. And uh, I had a lot of people throughout the, the way tell me that that was not going to happen. And uh, for me, you know, that's just motivation in itself. And uh, I'm just happy that I had the career I did at Oakland. And I'm happy that, you know, Coach Campy uh, gave me an opportunity to play there. And, um, you know, I, I just owe it all to hard work. You know what the best thing is? He passed J.J. Redick. <laughs> Everybody hated J.J. Redick. It's great. He's not no longer number one in the record. But when you made the, the, one, the shot that, that did it, that's, what went through your mind? I uh, kind of just relieved, actually. You know, uh, went through the whole season, and that's all anybody was talking about. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of a team first kind of guy. Uh, kind of want to put the individual stuff to the side. But, you know, when I hit that shot, I was kind of relieved and I feel like an elephant just jumped off my back. <laughs> you know, when somebody does something extraordinary like you, we just think that obviously it's a God-given talent. You know, when, you know, from like two months old or something, you know, you picked up a basketball and you could, you could make baskets. Uh, can you talk about the work, the preparation, and how you got to this point? Yeah, a lot of people think that. A lot of people just think I have this gift to shoot the ball, but honestly, growing up, I had an ugly shot. Uh, my dad gave me a lot of grief over it. and. Uh, so, you know, I worked really hard to fix that, and uh, throughout the years, you know, it's just one of those things that it's hard work. It's, it's not that something uh, that comes naturally. It's you got to work every single day, and, uh, you know, I'm in the gym two, three times a day trying to fix it and work on it. You know, everybody looks at Michigan, and they think that they're just a three-point shooting team, and if, they don't, if they're not hitting the three, you've seen them play. Is the three-point, I know it's key to them, but is that all they are? I don't think so. You know, obviously they're a great three-point shooting team, and Nick Stauskas and Karis LeVert has come up huge, and even Spike. But you know, they have big bodies down low, and they have that force. And, and Jordan Morgan lately, and um, you know, Glenn Robinson, who uh, is just a beast. So you know, I think they're more than just a three-point shooting team. Now you faced MSU. You didn't play Michigan. You played against Michigan State, and I think they were missing. Were they missing Harris? I think they didn't have Harris they that were. day. Yep. But that understood. What did you take away from the matchup with Michigan State? Ah, man, they're just a tough team. You know, I grew up around Michigan State. I grew up around Coach Izzo. I have a great relationship with him. And, um, you know, it's they're that team. They're that fast-paced team, that competitive team. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a war. And I just think that they're just so skilled and have so many different people stepping up um, as we see through this tournament. And, uh, you know, it was Payne. It was Dawson. And I'm just excited to see what's going to be next. You grew up with Izzo. How did, how did he miss on you? <laughs> well, you know, coming out of high school, I was uh, 165 pounds. I was uh, two inches shorter than I am now. So, uh, you know, I don't blame him. I, was, I, I wasn't that superior athlete or anything like that. Yeah, coming out of high school, I was 165 pounds too. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't get a basketball scholarship either. Uh, but I, I'm real curious. You got this big thing going up at, at the Final Four. Are you going to win this three-point competition or not? I mean, you have to, right? I mean, you, the pressure's all on you. You know, I'm just going to go out there and have fun. Um, you know, I've been practicing for it a little bit. You know, it's a competitive thing. Everybody, everybody wants to go out there and win. Everybody wants to, um, you know, when there's a loser at stake, you want to go out there and win it. So uh, I'm a competitor. I'm going to do my best to, uh, you know, win it. But I'm just going out there and having fun. All right. It would be an added bonus for us if Michigan and or Michigan State win today because we'll be headed down to Dallas and one of the first things we'll cover will be Travis on Thursday night at SMU in the three-point shootout. We've had success. We've yeah. had two winners from University of Detroit over the last few years, so you got to keep it going. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Great career. On the other